Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Patek Philippe 5140G. You can see and you can purchase this white gold automatic winding perpetual calendar on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop that don't include my wrist, and of course, complete pricing details for this Patek Philippe 5140. G. Now, introduced in the year 2006 and semi-retired today, it's produced only in its platinum variant after the introduction of the 5327. Uh, the 5140 is a handsome combination of traditional Patek Philippe dimensions and proportions. 37 millimeters across the round of the case, not inclusive of the crown. The watch is slim, only 9 millimeters thick with a generously rounded dome-style bezel. It easily slides underneath the dress cuff, and from lug to lug, the watch measures a very reasonable 46 millimeters. Now you can see the watch is simplicity. It's the distillation of Patek Philippe's traditional Calatrava case shape, round dial, blended lugs. The watch doesn't have crown guards so much as it has a slight recess of the crown to lower its profile. It's wonderfully comfortable on a smaller wrist, and I would even say that my wrist being 16 centimeters in circumference, seeing how it fits and how it sits, I believe you could wear this watch with style, proportion, and security on a wrist down to as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. It has a nice weight to it, white gold. It's matched with a strap that's well suited to the profile of the timepiece. You can see alligator leather, matte finish, unbolstered, folded edges, monotone stitch, paired with a Patek Philippe Calatrava cross capped deployant buckle in matching white gold. It adds considerably to the weight of the watch. It's a satisfying heft. Never a burden. Psychic satisfaction is what it brings. Now it's beautifully finished too. All of high polish. Mirrored finish can look gaudy on a watch of excessive size, but the classical proportions here wear polish beautifully. You can see it's a sensuous case flank and a sensuous bezel. Compound curves flowing up and down, side to side, diagonally. It seems that no one surface of this watch arcs in just a single direction, and there's a beautiful step between case flank and bezel. Moreover, because the watch isn't oversized, the designers didn't have to pare down the length or the sweep or the span of the lugs, which extend outward beautifully and proportionally play a large role in the styling of the watch, something that's been lost in the modern era of oversized cases. Inboard, the dial features a dimple minutes track interspersed with applied and polished dart style 18 karat white gold hour indices, a discreet and traditional Patek Philippe Genève marquee at 12 o'clock with polished white gold Dauphine style hands at center. Now you can see the sub-registers, months and the quartiles of the leap year at 3 o'clock, bosom style moon phase and radial date at 6, and the 24 hour and weekday indicators at 9. What you're looking at is the day of the week and then inside a 24 hour indicator that does give you AM PM distinction for the time at center but more importantly cues you in as to the danger period during which you should not use the case flank pushers to manually adjust the perpetual calendar. The perpetual calendar of course not needing any corrections until the year 2100. On the reverse side Patek Philippe's grand caliber 240 Q, the 240 in 2017 celebrating its 40th anniversary. Thin, fine, and wonderfully visible. It's always been the uppermost of Patek Philippe's automatic winding calibers. Thin with the profile in, from the side of a manual wind caliber. Because the winding rotor is in the same plane as the bridges, it also gives you an unobstructed view of the watch, unlike a central rotor. Yet you do get the convenience of automatic winding and a beautiful 22 karat gold winding mass. You can see the bridges with a rich textured Cote de Genève wave, the same pattern, has been cut into the winding mass, and there's an even and beautiful perlage engine turning across the base plate. All the screw heads are polished with their slots chamfered. All the jewel sinks, as well as the edges of all of the bridges, have been rounded off to a mirror finish by hand. That's the anglage finish. Gyromax style balance beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. The Gyromax free sprung architecture, a Patek signature since the early 1950s, is better equipped to take and hold a precise regulation than a conventional conventional mobile stud index. You also note, traditionally, the Geneva hallmark on the bridges, the Geneva hallmark preceding the Patek Philippe seal. These were built from approximately 2006 to mid-2009 with the original Geneva hallmark before it was supplanted by the interlocking PP of the Patek Philippe signature. 
The watch has a 38 to 48 hour power reserve when fully wound. You can see and you can purchase this Patek Philippe 5140G Perpetual Calendar Automatic on our website.